Hello and welcome. My name's Andrew Goodman, and in this channel, I do creative work on the iPad. In this video, we're going to be looking into Affinity Photo on the iPad, my review on it and what I think of it, and more importantly, should you buy it? Let's find out. First of all, what is Affinity Photo? If you don't know what Affinity Photo is, you surely are going to know what Photoshop is. I think everyone knows what Photoshop is. Affinity Photo is an alternative to rival to Photoshop. I have been using Photoshop for 20 years and I love Photoshop. It is the industry standard and it is unbelievable. Photoshop on the iPad is a different story. In a video to come, I will be looking into Photoshop on the iPad, but it's not that good. Or certainly in March 2022, the iPad app of Photoshop, in my opinion, isn't that great. So along comes Affinity Photo. There is a desktop version of Affinity Photo and also an app for the iPad on Affinity Photo. First thing about Affinity Photo is it's a one-off payment. For £20, or just under £20, you get this app. Whereas Photoshop is a subscription-based model which you pay every month. Let me say straight away, this app is amazing. It is what Photoshop on the iPad should be. It crams everything into it. The makers of it have just loaded it full of features and it is amazing. When you open up Affinity Photo, in many ways, it's a bit like Photoshop. In many ways, it's not like Photoshop. At the top, there's different personas or what Affinity call personas. It takes a wee bit of time to get used to how these work, but once you have it down, it's it's, it's very simple and it is uh, you pick it up quite easily once you get into it. There's a photo persona, a selections, liquify, develop, tone mapping and export. The main three ones that I use is the photo, the selections and the odd time the liquify and depending on what persona you're in that then changes the left hand side navigation. So while there is a little bit of a learning curve on Affinity Photo, stick with it, it's worth it. I went through YouTube tutorials and I got there but if you're watching this video it's a good time because starting next week I'm going to be doing a series of taking you step by step, looking into the tools and looking into how I work with it. And that brings me to the question you're asking and wanting to know the answer to. Is it worthwhile having Affinity Photo? Can you do work on Affinity Photo? Yes, a resounding yes. I do quite a few posters with my kids. In previous videos in this channel, you'll see speed art of the posters. And it's just an amazing piece of software. It's amazing on so many levels. You get Photoshop quality results when you know how to use application. Again, starting next week, there's going to be videos from myself on Affinity Photo teaching you from the ground up how to use it. So please like and subscribe. Nearly everything you want to do with photo compositing, photo manipulation can be done on this app. If you want to cut out subjects with the pen tool, it's really, really impressive and it's easy to do. If you want to do masking, very easy to do. If you're still not convinced, here is some of the results that I have got out of Affinity Photo. These images were made completely on Affinity Photo from start to finish. I took the photo, I cut around the subject, composited it into different scenes. So much fun that I have taught my nine-year-old son. Back last summer, we had a summer project and he was big into Pokemon cards and he's big into Mario, so he decided he wanted to make Mario cards. Normally, I would have pointed him in the direction of Photoshop, but seeing the eye pad. You don't have to sit at the desk, you can sit in the living room, you can sit in the kitchen, in the dining room table, even on summer holidays. You can lift this iPad and just start to work with it. I think Affinity Photo on the iPad is a brilliant tool to use your kid or kids just to get them introduced to, into layers, just to get them introduced into cutting out things and placing things. Here is his cards. There's Mario, all done on Affinity Photo. There's the back of them. Who's this here? Bowser. And of course, Luigi, my nine-year-old, was able to get into Affinity Photo with a bit of help and get up and running. So it's even a good tool to introduce kids how to use these kind of things. In my opinion, it's easier than learning Photoshop on the desktop. It's easier on the iPad. One of the other things to note about this app is it brings back fun. It certainly brings back fun to me. I love using Photoshop on the desktop, but there's something about having the Apple Pencil in your hand, something about the ability where you can move, you can edit photos, you can do photo manipulation composite from from anywhere. This is also how I edit my thumbnails for this YouTube channel. Every single thumbnail so far and in the future will be made using Affinity Photo. And if you're a bit scared or a bit hesitant from moving away from Photoshop, it can also open Photoshop files. Yes, it can open PSD files. It can even export your artwork as PSD files so you can open it up in Photoshop too. So if you're scared of completely ditching Photoshop, don't worry. I've still got Photoshop, but it's a great companion tool to use with Photoshop if you wanted to use it that way. Layers 
work pretty much the same way as Photoshop and it also has adjustment layers just like Photoshop. The adjustment layers on Affinity Photo are so, so powerful. It's amazing. I use an awful lot of adjustment layers for my posters and they've just nailed it. They've just absolutely nailed it. Final thoughts, should you get Affinity Photo for the iPad? Yes, a one-off payment. Serif who make Affinity Photo have just crammed in every single thing they can, but they've done it in such a good way. If you've been sitting on the fence and not sure whether to get this app, download it. Start next week. I'm going to be coming out with a series of training videos for free on YouTube here on how to show you how to use Affinity Photo on the iPad. It'd be great if you liked this video and subscribe to this channel to see these videos and to see much more that's coming down the line. Please feel free to comment below, make suggestions on what you would like to see, or if you've any queries, if you've any questions, I will do my best to answer them. Hopefully I've got you excited about Affinity Photo. And until next time, I hope to see you on the training series for Affinity Photo. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.